Hey, I'm going to walk you through the membership portal um, that we were emailing about. So, so I just want to start off here. Like this is what we call the sales page or landing page. It doesn't have to be this elaborate by any means, because this is unless you want it to be, if you want it to ever create like a, a course that's going to be evergreen that can be offered, whether it's free or, or, uh, or, or paid, you can charge anything you want. The price is um, up to anybody. So this is a membership for us. And then when they buy this, it, they give their information and on the next page, they pay for it. <clears throat> and then automatically they're delivered username, login, and the website to bookmark so that they can just save it and log in. And I'll show you what the back end looks like. Now, the this is a subscription funnel, so it's $47 a month to continue thereafter. Um, and uh, here's another one, like an example. Um, there's a video on this page as well. So this is a sales course that we've made. Um, we we give them a beta price. We tell them what's inside. These things can open and tell them what's inside each of the modules. And then when they buy it, um, they can choose a payment plan. Or like I said, you can do it for free. So these are kind of like a little bit more elaborate. So they're more trustworthy. And then it can produce a higher conversion rate. But another way this could also work is if you um, uh, use it as a supplement to the book. So like take it like when they buy the book or download the book, however it's going to be sold, there could be a chapter or on the pages on the back or the front to get more value, register for this course. And then you can just give more value with, with videos um, and also build a database if you ever wanted to like communicate with them, like an email list and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. Um, just building that that customer acquisition funnel, if you will. Um, here's the back end. This is really, really easy, but don't don't worry about if it looks complicated or not. Everything at first is going to be a little bit complicated just by looks alone, but they're quite deceiving because it's very simple. And and we set these up for lots and lots of people. Um, but this is the back end. Once things are built and the videos are ready and the content and any downloads or whatever content is related to um, that list that you had, um, we can build the structure, like the table of contents, like a book. So just think of it from that way. Um, like here's the category, the chapter one, and then here are the categories within that chapter Then chapter two, like this is more of an intro Then here's chapter one, like a forward. And then here's all the details inside of there. Um, and you can build as many as you like. So this has quite a few videos in here, just like you have a quite a few. I think there's 50 in this one. Now, if I wanted to add a new video or even replace a video, I can just click into here and just simply replace the video. I can ask, add a customized picture if I wanted to, or just leave it empty or just use your photo, give it a title, give it a, it's in, it's automatically selected in the category. And if I wanted to um, add the description or links to downloads or whatever, those are all in here. Um, now, if I wanted to add a new video to this, all I do is click this guy and add a lesson and I just give it a name. And there it is. And then in here, I can just upload a video like Google Drive, drag and drop it, click upload file, et cetera. Um, give it a description. And then it's in a draft mode, meaning only I see it. When I publish it, then obviously the 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 world will see it or whoever has access to it. Um, so I guess it may not be obvious just yet. So that, let me go ahead and delete that. So very simple stuff. Uh, but yeah, now what this will look like, let me see if I can give you a preview. Actually, let me stay here first. Oh, there's the preview button. Um, on the details, so this is the name of the course. It's Software Service Foundations. Um, if I want to customize the layout, it comes with these pre-selected layouts. And then... Um, offers, if you want to sell it, this is where you put your price. So if it's $97 a month, uh, $9,000, it doesn't really matter. It's just the price connected to a, a payment processor. And then if you want to enable comments underneath the video, meaning the when people log in and they can add comments underneath the videos, you could, or you can disable them. Currently, we have them all disabled. Um, and that is the how the membership functionality works. Um, now, if I preview it, this is what the people on the other side will see, the people who have registered. So when they log in, they can click here, and then 
here are the lessons. Here's the first lesson and then two and three underneath it. So they don't even have to leave this video. It can automatically go to the next lot of uh, sessions. So kind of like Netflix, it'll just replay the next episode. Um, and then we have our either call to actions here, um, or you can include key takeaways, bullet points, et cetera, um, to inspire them to continue watching. So we can say at minute one, this is what happens. At minute five, here's what happens. Um, so it's totally optional from here and and even including transcriptions. So this is how you can create like a an evergreen funnel of a, I'm using funnel as like a, a method to get customers into our, our ecosystem. Um, and, and once we build up the database, then we have options. We can email, text message, et cetera. There's a lot of cool things that can be done. Um, and if you ever want to sell it, then it could be an opportunity to basically become a software, if you will. Like you record the videos and it costs us no more um, to sell one versus 1,000. And those are all optional as well. So that's the video. Hopefully this was helpful and it makes sense. And if it's uh, there's any questions, just let me know. Thank you.